right here I am down at the East Bowl on February 21st 2022 shooting today for the first time on my anamorphic lens with uh, using the telephoto lens so I'm gonna see how this works it's just a test today see how this goes today I'm just shooting sort of a short session I think today one of the things I wanted to uh, sort of uh, go back and uh, correct on some of the stuff I'd been saying down here was all the pipe work they've been doing down here which we can see some of it uh, in that uh, trench ahead right down in their area I've been calling this irrigation pipe which some of it is sitting right back over there by that tree right down on the ground there and this is actually drainage pipe uh, according to what research I've done I believe the pipe they use out here is manufactured by the Advanced Drainage Systems Corporation who uh, specializes in making drainage pipes and what they're doing is they're building what's called French drains out here which are gravity drains which collect any excess water that falls on the uh, area and then it channels it down into a place that uh, in this case it's the storm drains on the streets uh, here at 75th Street down here where I saw them working a while back they're essentially uh, connecting these uh, French drainage systems to the storm drains that run under the streets here at 75th Street and then down at the West Paseo the storm drains are at the uh, intersection era Brown and Maine and uh, the French drain system is just simply you dig a trench uh, you can line it with fabric which is very variously called a filter fabric filter fabric geofabric or geotextile fabric that's used to help uh, protect the uh, the system and uh, it allows water to pass through it at a given rate depending, depending on the nature of the uh, fabric and uh, it protects the fabric from sediment clog getting in clogging up the pipe and whatnot so that's basically uh, what's been going on here they've been uh, putting in these drainage systems and we can see back over here uh, just ahead of me there now they've got like a manhole covers of sort uh, which will give them access to uh, to uh, part of the underground system in the future and this is in the social hub area that also may act as a, uh, a sort of a catch basin drain when that's all got pavers on it there'll be a place there that uh, if any uh, heavy rainfall uh, comes uh, then that'll act as a drain possibly down into the uh, into the French drainage system and then the, the water will just run off down into the uh, storm drains on the street so that's what uh, that basically is all this uh, pipe I've been calling irrigation pipe is really uh, drainage pipe though supposedly according to their presentation uh, part of the uh, reason for the, the whole system was to catch and store water for irrigation also so I'm not really sure how that ties in if part of this water goes to some kind of catch basin for storage and to irrigate the trees in the area but uh, just wanted to come down here uh, today is President's Day it's a holiday so it looks like uh, there's only minimal activity down here I don't know if that's associated with uh, President's Day or uh, what that's associated with but uh, that's what that's all about I don't see much activity really but I just want to come down here and uh, do some testing with my uh, anamorphic lens on the telephoto lens and then also uh, just check to see what was going on and then give sort of an explanation of the drainage systems that they're putting in which I'd been calling irrigation systems 
so I'm not sure if there's any irrigation aspect to these systems but uh, they are for sure for a drainage so if you have like a big sometimes we get big monsoon storms out here dump a lot of water in a short period of time then that helps move that water off site so you end up with stagnant areas of water and uh, any kind of flood damage that could uh, uh, hurt the construction you spent uh, a lot of time working on. So I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to move on over to the West Paseo. I'm not going to shoot too much today. There's not that much activity and over in front of City Hall it doesn't really change that much over there so I'm going to head for the West Paseo and see what's happening down there. Alrighty. Right, here I am down to West Paseo. Time is now 11.05 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So doing some work down here. Got the big front end loader doing some grading. Going up my stairs here. They're moving, uh, moving this dirt down into the West Bowl area. Like I was seeing down at the uh, East Bowl, all this system that they've been working on down through here has been a drainage system, which they tied into the uh, storm drains down at Brown and Maine. So I think these pipes that are sticking up may be inlets for the, uh, for the drainage system. So what they'll do is when they uh, get all of their uh, pavers and stuff down, they may have like uh, drain covers that sit there and then any rain that falls will uh, will then go into these uh, drainage uh, into the drainage system via these uh, outlets here or inlets that's my guess anyway but it's only minor activity down here today I think they just have a few few staff members in that are doing stuff or they're in a transition period where they have to uh, uh, wait for certain things to occur before they can move forward on some of these areas have some stuff going on today. Looks like the site supervisor might be down there uh, marking out some stuff, working on uh, planning for what's yet to come. Like I've said in previous videos, there's still some demolition to be done down here, taking out the stairs here by this office building and the sidewalk along in front of Old Town Tavern and the Mexican import store has to come out. And uh, so there's those activities yet to uh, occur. 
supposedly they may occur in March, I've been told, but never really sure uh, how much of this information I'm getting is accurate. And I'm sure there's a dynamic situation that things are changing and uh, as they move along with the construction here. So I'm not going to shoot this much today. I just came down to uh, do a little bit of testing. I wanted to see how my telescopic or telephoto lens worked with the anamorphic lens. You just have to swap them back and forth to each camera. But uh, that's sort of the status of this area. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. I don't think I'm gonna go any place else. I don't think there's enough uh, activity going on to uh, really warrant any more uh, just going and shooting footage of s static situations that haven't changed, so. wrap this up I think I'm going to come back on Wednesday Wednesday should be an interesting day there's a really high uh, chance up to 90% chance of rain on Wednesday so it might be interesting to come down here and shoot when it's when the rain is falling it's a little more atmospheric so I'm gonna wrap this up here head back home Do some editing on this and get it fixed up for posting. Alrighty.